Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Cupcake Smasher here, bringing you another video. And today I'm on the mini account, and I guess we'll just hit Pegasus Playhouse this video, hopefully. Let me open up all these chests. I got a magical one. I'll save that for the update, though, just in case. And, uh, well, let's get into this right now. First battle off, I am hoping not to suck. Don't know his name. We'll just call him Jimmy. I mean, he's got three characters. I assume that's Jim. Uh, from Rin Cow 924 on the cups. And, uh, looks pretty good for us for a starting deck. Oh, whoa. So he's gonna go Expo. That's okay, though. Baby Dragon, uh, on top of that. But my Spear Goblins off to the side shouldn't be... Yeah, they should be fine to take out the Baby Dragon. I'll be fine. That Giant Skeleton will take out everything here in just one second. Expo, please don't hit my tower. He's gonna hit my tower. Great. So he only gets off a couple shots, that's okay. So let's go with a Witch now in the back opposite side. And then I'm going to use the Prince as the tank for her. Don't even care about that Goblin Hut. Huh? I mean, what 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 can you do? Now let's go with a Prince and now a Valk. And then we should be good. So he's going to go, what is that, a Musketeer in the back. I thought it was a Bomber and then we could have been in some trouble. But no, Musketeer will be all right. Now we take it down before the Witch dies. Yes, that's going to be Tower Down for sure. What is he going to do? Okay, okay, that was quick. That was really quick. And now I think our witch is going to stay out of range of the tower. Maybe even the prince. And that is going to be really good for us now that giant's down. We still have a ton of skeletons. We might even go three crown here with hardly any effort at all. Just because of how well it went. No, not quite. But we're getting considerable damage down. I didn't want to go aggressive there because I didn't have a good push built up. And he could have dealt with it rather easily. So baby dragon on baby dragon. I'm going to throw some spear golems to help out. So my baby dragon just doesn't die in the exchange. There we go. Slowly but surely. And uh, let's arrow help out. Clear out these skeletons. Please. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Just just wasted those. And now those skeletons are going to die as well. But if that if the giant skeleton's in range, I win. Uh, yes. Perfect. Okay, so that's a good start for sure. Okay, guys, so two minutes into the video and we already got a win. This should be pretty good, so come on, Shola. Uh, okay, so he's from GRS Royale, so uh, make fun of him. Join his clan. Uh, just br brutalize it. No, okay. So let's get into this battle right now. So I'm starting off with a giant skeleton because if he lays something in retaliation to that, it should be pretty easy to take down. Now, which behind him because he is a pretty good tank for her. Now I'm thinking Prince, unless I see a bunch of spam units going down. No, he is, he's frozen. He is so in terror. I'm, I'm guessing he's actually maybe either trying to drop trophies or win trade. No, okay. Okay, I thought he was just trying to drop trophies because there are people doing that or just trying to give me an easy win because he's like, oh, you're a level one. I've had one person do that ever. Uh, but here we go. So we, I got his tower down. Uh, he very slow to react. And now he's got his, his prince going in, but he hits the giant bomb from the giant skeleton. Now I'm going to be able to deal with him with just skeletons because that tower should be able to shoot him down. There we go. And uh, now it's going to be Giant Skeleton Witch again. And I'm going to go for the three crown because if I can close this out early, that would be pretty good. So let's go Giant Skeleton. And uh, we got a minute 40 on the clock. So we, we should be fine. He's going to go Hog. Uh, ew, so that's not, a good, that's not a good combo for me. Not what I want to be seeing. Musketeer is going to go down though. And that's really the brunt force of anything he could do after this so i'm going to continue on with my push because i think it's going to be stronger in the long run let's take down that hog for one there we go no free spell that's good for sure and now we've got a bunch of skeletons piling up i'm going to lay some of my own and this should be game over right here i don't yeah game over game over game over boom boom And there it is, guys. So that is an easy one. Let's get into our next one. And um, two away. Two, two away. Okay, guys. So I just checked. I'm at 1037. So three trophies above uh, Sal S265 from the hundreds. And uh, let's see. So he's level seven. It could be a little bit difficult to fight him. But uh, I, I, am, I am ready. I've been preparing. And I am ready. So let's go Baby Dragon off here with the minions. Should be able to take them out just fine. That's going to distract the witch. But um, no, the how is the witch doing that much damage? Very good question right there. Uh, let's just weaken the minion horde. I can't even take it down, but I can weaken it enough. And uh, there we go. So let's get our now Valk. Oh, that was a waste. Forgot about the giant bomb. So, okay. Valk may be able to do some tower damage, but that was kind of a waste in general. No, he's going to lay some spear golems. I guess he doesn't realize that I'm level one. Okay, that's fine by me, though. 
So let's get a giant skeleton witch combo going down here once I get a chance. He's going to go, ah, oh, this guy is so frustrating. I think he's probably going to take down my tower with this baby dragon. Unless my spear goblins can go into absolute beast mode. And it looks like they will, actually. So, uh, yay me. Uh, spear goblins are going to be useful if for once. And it uh, doesn't look like I'll be able to get the giant. Actually, I will be able to get the giant skeleton in time. So there we go. That's going to be a pretty strong counter unless he has Valks. Uh, no, he's gonna go with a witch. Okay, that's a little bizarre, but that's okay for me. If that giant skeleton gets the tower, that witch will be down, and that tower will take significant damage. Also, I guess he's gonna sacrifice some archers, too. That's pretty sweet. Uh, here we go. Boom! Ah, uh, he only sacrificed one archer. My bad. Uh, but here we go. Now it's about even tower health, and, uh, we should be able to good to go. Okay, minion, take down this archer. Now we have a prince underneath. Uh, it's kinda hard to see him there, so... Could be all right now. He's going to have to respond air or ground. He goes air. What? You've got to be joking. Okay, but here we go. So now it's turned his minion horde, his level 7 minion horde, into regular minions. I'm going to arrow, and he lays his own minion. you got to be joking, dude. You are so bad at this. Now his own minions and everything got cleared out. Didn't even get a shot off. This is hilarious. For a level 1 to be demolishing a level 7 in this manner, this is just ridiculous. So let's go here. He is going to take down my tower here. I guarantee it. Just that minion horde is so strong. Oh my goodness, I was wrong. This is one of those times where I'm happy I was wrong because it means I'm actually doing better than I thought. Okay, but minion horde now going to be doing some damage that, that witch will be able to take care of the rest of them. Now let's throw that giant skeleton. This guy is getting absolutely obliterated. I'm just going to ignore what he's doing now. At this point, he doesn't warrant a response uh, with anything he's doing. Let's go with witches. So now we've got double witches. I'm going to arrow this area. Oh, gosh. Dang it. I don't have a tank for the witches, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. Baby dragon should be taken down by them relatively quickly. And this was the guy with the hog, right? I don't remember. So if this guy was the guy with the hog, he probably should be about time to lay it. Uh, if, if, if it was me, oh my goodness, he's coming with a P.E.K.K.A. for the first time in the match. I love it when they decide to do it like that. It's like, you know what, I, I'll, I think I'll surprise him late with my strongest unit. That'll get him. The only one that ever makes sense with is like the Three Musketeers because it is so expensive that you do need to wait forever. Uh, in this, uh, uh, yeah, no, don't do that with the P.E.K.K.A. guys, that's what I'm saying there. But now let's throw a prince in the middle. That should be able to help me out. Baby dragon. Uh, Goblin barrel will never be able to do 1,600 damage. And I'm going to lay my skeletons, which is going to distract him. And boom, there goes the win. There it is. Baby dragon, baby dragon, baby dragon. Oh, no. Okay, goodness. I thought that was the win. Now let's throw some spear goblins. Let's see if they can just get some chip damage off. Now arrows. Oh, he's going to go with that. Dang it. I think I'll go giant skeleton, and that should be able to get to the tower. Uh, with the way this guy's playing, anything will get to my his tower. And all this giant skeleton has to do now is, oh, yeah, bomb off. There we go. Now it's the win. Woo. Okay, good. So there we go, Sal's. There we go. Okay, guys, last battle. I don't even care. This one will not get me into the P.E.K.K.A. Playhouse because I am at 10 at 60 something. Uh, so obviously this level 7. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have a balloon, though, because I have, yeah. Bloons and I have not been getting along tonight, so here we go. Let's go skeletons in the center, and you've got to be joking. Why are these minion hordes just hanging out so low? Okay, but my witch will be able to burn through this minion horde pretty quick, so I, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, it's still frustrating, though. You can't take away that it's frustrating. Here we go, those skeletons. we got spear golems. we got the tower. This prince is practically down. You can see him, and he's dead already. It's going to be like Harry Potter, how you saw death. Like that, That's what the prince just did for us. Okay, but here we go. Let's go giant skeleton, and now, boom, Valk is distracted. That's funny. Doesn't even reach that skeleton. Now, I'm going to throw skeletons of my own. That's going to build up a ton of stuff behind the giant skeleton, and hopefully if we can take him down fast enough, the musketeer's down. Let's get the giant skeleton to the tower, please. Please, yes. Oh, my goodness. Now, the skeletons are doing work with the witch and that bomb. Oh, my goodness. 100. Yep, 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 yep. Tower down. Tower down. So there we go, 150 left on the clog, and uh, based on tower health, uh, it looks to be my game. It looks like I just may be able to pull this off. Yes, and he throws a minion horde, but right where I'm placing my baby dragon and my prince is going to get to his tower, but I do need to arrow to help out my tower. There we go, should be, oh my goodness, this, I am dominating. I almost feel sorry. Is there a sorry command? Sorry, sorry, oh, nope. Okay, still no sorry. Um, but here we go. So now a witch. Let's take care of that with a Valk. That should be good to go. And now this witch is going to die. Just just keep spewing out skeletons. There we go. Witch takes it down. Boom. There it is. Now let's continue on to the tower. Uh, nah. Oh, I almost dropped that. I didn't want to, though. So it's a good thing I didn't. 
Uh, let's go here, though, skeletons, and then followed by spear golems. Let's throw them all at once. There we go. That should be able to take care of the... Nope, nope my troops are still too weak. Uh, that's that's fun. But here we go, which get to distract this prince now. Oh, he throws the Valk behind. That's so dumb, dude. You got to throw the Valk in front. But no, for, in all seriousness, you do want to throw the Valk in front of a prince when you're using it. You don't want to have to let her walk up behind because she is slower than the prince, for one. And for two, it's kind of useless getting to the splash damage after it's already done its toll. But this is basically going to be game over right here. We got everything rushing into the center here. Uh, we got two witches and a bunch of skeletons. Now, I think I should try and rush this. No, please don't lock onto the witch. Okay, throws a Valk to do that instead. So at least it's not the tower killing her. Uh, but here we go. Now we got Prince. We got two baby dragons and we got a witch. Uh, the minion horde is going to be melted. And let's see if we can get this in time. Just throw spam units. Please, please, please. Three crown him. Three crown him. Three crown him. Yes, yes, yes. Boom! There it is. So, that is awesome. Let's just wrap this up. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like it up, subscribe for more, and until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher, bringing you another video.